February is American Heart Month. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. The risk of heart disease is common in African Americans due to being overweight and having high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. Connecting is good for your heart. Feeling connected with others and having positive close relationships benefits our overall health, including our blood pressure and weight. Follow these lifestyle tips to protect your heart. Be more physically active. Aim for 30 minutes of physical activity daily. Maintain a healthy weight. Eat a heart-healthy, nutritious diet. Do not use tobacco or vape products. Reduce stress. Get seven to nine hours of quality sleep. And visit your healthcare provider for disease prevention visits. For more information regarding heart health, visit hearttruth.gov. As always, be healthy and be blessed. God bless you and what a joy it is for you to join us on uh, this evening. This is a special evening. Uh, it is Valentine's Day and uh, we're going to be sharing some uh, things with you that we hope will help you in your marriage or your relationships. Um, I, I, I know that God has given me my mate and, and I pray that God has given you your mate and but no matter how much we deal with whether God has given us our mates or not, there are some things that we have to do to make things work. And uh, so I'm so happy. Uh, I'm so happy for my darling wife. We're going to open. I'm going to open up in prayer and then we'll get right into some questions that have been uh, submitted to us. Dear Lord, we thank you once again for how you blessed us and brought us yes, to this God. point. God, we're asking that you will look upon us and strengthen us, Touch give us what to say and how to Please say it, it to and we'll be so careful to give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Lord, In Jesus' Lord, name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. God bless you, First Lady Karen Clark Sheard. God bless you, Bishop. <laughs> what a joy it is to share with you. Uh, we don't do this uh, that often as often as maybe we should, but thank God for this opportunity. You look beautiful thank as you. usual. Thank and, you. And uh, do yeah. you want to greet our our audience, there's people sure, that are tuned absolutely. in? absolutely. You look handsome as well. Thank you. You know, of course, this is, we don't just compliment each other just because it's Valentine's Day. Every day I get compliments. Yes, most of the time, most of the time. <laughs> but <laughs> we are just so delighted to have you join us today on this wonderful day. I want to wish to you a happy Valentine's Day. Of course, this is the day to um, give love. Every day should be Valentine's Day, especially in marriage. Valentine's Day, we should love each other because in such a hateful world, we have to always have a mindset of love to our loved ones and to everybody, not only to our loved ones, but to the world, to each other. It's important to give love. So I'm happy to be here with my husband. Yay! On Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know, our, uh, our youth and young adults uh, ministry are having a... Uh, I think like a Valentine's week yes. and uh, we th I thought that um, maybe we could join in and share okay. some things with them and so we have some questions uh, that they have proposed and so one of the things that they're asking is why marriage? Why marriage? I'm gonna let you start. You gonna let me start? <laughs> why marriage? because marriage is honorable and the Bible intended for us to have a spouse. Um, uh, marriage is uh, ordained by God that when a man and a woman find each other, they love each other, 
before they can take that relationship to the next level, um, God is uh, requiring that they be married. And, uh, and so marriage is honorable. Uh, it is in marriage that, um, you know, um, the children can come out of marriage. Yeah. And um, that's what we advocate. And, uh, of course, that's why we, and then, um, you know, um, there are sexual sins and to protect yourself as an individual from participating in sexual sin, the Bible says that you should marry. It's better to marry than to burn with the desire. And you have those desires. Uh, it's better to marry than to burn, said the Bible. Yes. And so that's why marriage. Yes, that's real talk. Yes. It's better to marry than to burn because flesh rises. Oh, absolutely. And so I believe that, you know, God has given us a, a pattern in the, in the Word of God. Yes. If we follow the Word of God uh, concerning marriage, and then it also says um, that man would cleave he would leave his mother leave, and father and cleave, and cleave to his wife. That's right. Yeah. For them to become one. One. You yes. know, and many times divorce um, is, is skyrocketing because they become separated in their mindset. But when you have Christ, when you put Christ first at the priority of your relationship, then you come down and you become one and then both of you together. Yes. And I want I have a question to you, Bishop. Uh -oh. You know the scripture that says, be not unequally yoked. Unequally yoked. Unequally yes. yoked. Yeah. Can you tie that in or does that work with that with Sure marriage? it does. You know, um, a lot of times people f uh, have a preconceived uh, notion yeah. that this unequally yoked is talking specifically to an unsaved person and a saved person, and it does apply to that, but there's more to being unequally yoked than a saint and a sinner. Yes, sir. Um, you, you know, uh, a person that has, uh, let me say for instance, a person that has a third grade education uh, getting with a person that has a PhD uh, mm -hmm. They, in many cases, can be unequally can be yoked. Uh, so when that happens, um, you know, the other person is in a whole different world. And uh, so we, you know, when you start talking about coming together, see, our lives together need to be in unity. Yes. And so I, I remember, and I'll say this and we get back to our questions, um, my my wife, of course, as you all know, her and her sisters, they have a little group called the Clark Sisters, <laughs> and uh, they have a singing. Little group. They had a singing <laughs> career uh, when uh, Karen and I, you know, first started talking, and uh, when we first started talking, I was, a, as your mother would say, I was a little minister, <laughs> and uh, and they, you know, were the famed Clark Sisters. And I remember when uh, you were getting ready to do your solo album and you came and you kept sharing with me all of the things that St Stanley Brown said, that Jay Brown said, that, uh, what was my other guy's name? Uh, 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 Phil, oh, Phil. Yeah. And she would keep coming. I'm like, she keep talking about all these guys. I, that's not the term I called them. <laughs> but I say, she keep talking all these guys and so I began to take an interest mm -hmm. in your career because your career was uh, begin was on the verge of just skyrocketing and I wanted to be a part of it Absolutely. and then consequently uh, Karen became more involved in my ministry which was the preaching ministry and we started complimenting each other but uh, one of the one of the dangers of marriage is not becoming affiliated with the spouse's career mm. or their likes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you like, if you like it, I need to see and try to find out if I can like it Absolutely. too, and you know, vice versa. Yeah. And that helps us remain 
equally yoked. Absolutely. That helps us. Yeah. And and keep the oneness. Absolutely. In marriage. And then yeah. also we're supposed to support each other. Absolutely. You know, I can't leave you out there. Like I support you Absolutely. as presiding bishop and I also respect your office. Yes. You I do, do not um, just take advantage of it because I'm your wife. Yes. But I respect you in in the leadership of of the presiding bishop um, because I don't want anyone else seeing me disrespect you because sometimes they'll judge me. Oh, is that the way she treat him? Mm -hmm. So I can't do that. Absolutely. And I have to respect you inside the house and outside of the home. So that's very important. And vice versa. Absolutely. I have to support you. Yes. Um, just here recently, you know, the, the sisters yes, you received did. the Supported Grammy. Us. And yes. I flew out there and took a red eye <laughs> yes, and came did. back home. But I wanted to yeah. be there to support mm -hmm. you on this momentous achievement yes. because it, it, you made history. And so yes. um, when, when, you, when you have those things, I want to be there mm -hmm. because you going up, it's the same thing as me going up because yes. we are one. One. That's okay. right. <laughs> Let's look at another question. It says, how do you keep the marriage fun? I'm going to let you answer that. Oh, you, you go. See, Bishop is trying to be funny, actually, because <laughs> he calls me the funny one out of the two of us. <laughs> but I believe that it's very important that we have uh, moments where real moments to have a good time. Enjoy one another. You cannot forget how you became together. You became together by being friends. Yeah. And I think many times when we get into a marriage, we forget, you know, the friendship that you we leave have. the friendship. The, that's good. The closeness that's good. Yeah. that we have. So that's yeah. very important is that, you know, don't forget. Let's, I, I so often hear you say, you know what, we got to make sure we set aside time to go on a vacation, yeah. and that's very important yeah. so that we can say, you know what, we got to cover our relationship. And it says also in the scripture where we're supposed to take care of home, yeah. and you do that very well. Yeah. And that means uh, regarding marriage as well. Yeah. You know, we take, I take care of my husband. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take care of my husband. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, wait, and, <laughs> well, wait a minute, wait a minute, because while you were there, I thought about this. Uh, because, you know, uh, a lot of people uh, may not understand how much fun we had together. Yeah. Laughing and talking and you being the comedian that you are. <laughs> you know, they don't know that side of the first lady. She is really hilarious. And all you got to do is get it get late into the night when she gets tired and she just goes tell him that side. Okay, I won't say. Okay, I won't say that no more. <laughs> but he's but, right. When it get late, oh, I still we, get silly. She, oh man. And don't let her be with her sister, uh, Dr. Cole, because it's it is on and popping. You're gonna laugh if you with him. And so uh but we have fun. Oh, and I absolutely. you know I I said uh about our relationship the other uh the other week I said that uh, you ought to be able to crack a joke in your relationship. Yes, absolutely. You know, there are some things that, you know, um, you ought to be able to look at me and say, you know, something then that we'll laugh at. It doesn't, yeah. you know, and, and, and then, you know, you, you, you got to be in a place where you know that we're having fun. Absolutely. You know, it's not that you making little of me. Right. It's we're oh, really no. having fun. Absolutely. And 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 you, you, my skin has to be tough enough to know uh, that. Oh, we. Well, let me tell you this. Of course, we don't do it uh, anymore. But we used to play the dozens. <laughs> we used to play the dozens. And uh, they might I not know what the dozens is. Oh, really? You don't know what the dozens is? The <laughs> dozens is. Uh, she used to say, your mama so-and-so, and I'd say, your mama so-and-so, or your daddy so-and-so, or, or your brother this. Or. Anyway, we stopped that many years ago. <laughs> we stopped that many years ago because she, well, I'll tell you this brief story. She and Dr. Cole were in the, we were all, three of us were in the car. Mm -hmm. And they started playing the dozens, and they were saying, "Yo, mama, this, yo, mama, this," and they was high fiving each other all up <laughs> over my face and in my over my head. And I kept telling them because um, 
you know, my beloved mother-in-law had just passed and I uh, hadn't been long uh, transition and I didn't want to do that. And they kept going and they kept going. They was just high-fiving. So I said, all right. I said, y'all, y'all stop, please stop. They kept going. I said, okay, you got one more time and I'm going out there and get mad. And then they, all of a sudden they got quiet. And next thing you know, you went, you didn't have to say that. So I haven't played dozen with them anymore. But we had that kind of sure, fun. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we tease each other. Yeah. And, and so it's a blessing. Yeah. You know. I, uh, but that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say. You know, that it many times. You know, um, when you know your mate and you know what. Uh, and then sometimes it's the other way around. Some people can't take, you know, speaking of their late loved ones, sure. you know, but you know that moment of yeah. you have to learn your mate. Yeah. No, but I know my husband. We're yeah. OK with it. He yeah. knows me. Yeah. I'm OK with it. So, you know, your do's and your don'ts. If, if but they but we don't do it anymore. We, you know, yeah. I, I used to be the champion of dozens, but I'm yeah. I turn in my. I, I retired, uh, you know. <laughs> but every now and then I think of something, yeah. you know, but um, we don't do that no more. Uh, we just stopped doing it. So it's not, after that I, I let it go because it should never be, and this is not, you know, but it should never, mm -hmm. ever be my desire to hurt her. Yeah. Never. And I think that sometime, even in arguments, Mm -hmm. uh, or let's say heated discussions with our mates. Sure. Um, that's what uh, people get to a place where they're going after them to hurt them. Mm -hmm. You need to stop that argument and say, hey, yeah. let's, let's just chill. Right. Uh, the Bible says in Proverbs that a soft answer turneth away mm -hmm. wrath. And, and when you're having a discussion with your mate and, and it's getting heated, watch this. And then she says something that hurts you and then you have a desire to come back because mm -hmm. I've got to outdo you. And then we go out of, the, it, it goes way out of the roof. Yeah. You can't do that. You can't, it, it, I don't, I don't want to see her hurt. Mm -hmm. And I, she doesn't want to see me hurt because when she hurts, I hurt because we're one again. That's okay. Good. We got to hurry up. We, we're not going to finish this. Okay. Is there such a thing as your spouse needing too much attention? Oh, you start that. I, I can answer that. I don't. I don't. Um, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm -mm. I think that uh, you have to adjust. That both people have to adjust so that we can get along and we can move in that space. Yeah, and I yeah. think it's very important yeah. that you should give your spouses all the attention that they would like to have. What's well, wrong with that? Well, that they, What's wrong with that? That they need. Okay. You know, okay, but I mean, you know, you can get greedy in that spot, you know? Okay, so you mean so, in a selfish way? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know? That's Okay, that's... You, I, you go along with that? I, I'll go with you. Yeah, because... I'll go with you. Um, when it becomes selfish, that yeah, crosses the line. That crosses the line. Yeah. When it's all about me, Right. And not about her. Yeah. I can never, uh, I can never, and, and and I can never see her needs for seeing my need. That's off limits. Yeah. That's off limits. Would you yeah. agree? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, on those notes, yeah. Um, what would you suggest when it feels like a marriage has lost its fervor? That it's got fever here, but I think they meant fervor, but maybe they meant. Fever. <laughs> So yeah, what both. what do you suggest there? Um, what what is it again? The what what do you suggest, suggest when it feels like a marriage has lost its fever? What do I suggest? I would suggest that counseling. Counseling. Cool. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, counseling is good. I, but look here. What is that right there? Fire. Fire. Light the fire. <laughs> Light the fire. You know, you you know, yeah. you got it's it's something that'll burn. Find out what it is. Yeah. What do you like? Mm -hmm. My wife likes to go out to dinner. Yeah. And she likes to go to these exclusive restaurants. Mm -hmm. Of course, 
uh, if that will help light the fire, then light the fire. If, 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 if me dressing up will make her more interested in me, yeah. do it. If her dressing up makes her, now, we don't have, we don't have that problem, you know no, what I mean? No, we don't. And, and, but there's one thing, I'm going to tell this. One thing, my wife wants me to grow a beard. Well, I don't think a beard would be appropriate for me. What y'all think? Put it in the chat. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Please do. Please do. Yeah. And you know, she's always, whenever I don't shave, let it grow. I just don't think Put it, it in would. the chat. But that's something, that's not a deal breaker in our marriage, though. <laughs> no, it know? isn't. No. And uh, so she's always, yo, I like I like it. And I, you know, I got a lot of gray and, and whatnot, and sometimes it grows, but you know, so there it is. The Lord bless you and may heaven smile no, upon you. No, put it in the chat. How many of you want Bishop to grow a beard? And <laughs> tell him it's okay. He's a presiding bishop. Yeah. It's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I, my answer, let me just say okay, this. Okay, sure. I think we're answering from both um, ends of the question. Is that when I meant um, have counseling, that means when you have covered all grounds, mm -hmm. when you feel like, oh, when you could, because there's a lot of people that have been saying, you know what, this, I want to call it quits. They want to call, that's what's happening in this day. I want to call it quits. So when you feel like all you've done, you've gone to the extent of trying to make it work or the fever has gone, I think, do you sure, agree absolutely. they should go to counseling absolutely. and not absolutely. give up so easily on the yeah. marriage? Well, you know, uh, one thing I say to married couples, and I know we got a, we got a break now, okay. uh, but one thing I know that I say to marriage uh, couples in marriage counseling is that eliminate the word divorce from your vocabulary. Yeah. It's, uh, divorce is not an option. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to give super kudos to my Valentine because when we first got married, you know, I was like, you know, forget it, go in the room and I cut the lights out, close the door and she coming in. No, we got to talk. Communication is the key. I got, I, yeah. I always will give you kudos for that because that was your line. No, we going to talk. We going, and I ain't feel like talking, but you made me talk. And so it's communication is key. Hey, um, I got another question that uh, we need to probably deal with. Uh, how do you balance social media in your marriage? Well, you know what? Because you know you get a, you're on social media a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You know, social media can really be an advantage and a disadvantage. In marriage, in, regarding marriage, I think that when you look at a lot of people's posts and try to compare it to your marriage, I think that can be unhealthy because everybody's relationship is different. Secondly, I think regarding the other side of it, um, the men liking posts, women, uh, well, let me say, men liking other women's posts, like if they'll see, um, uh, maybe as somebody with a swimsuit on, you know, they liking it. I think that's unhealthy. You know, everything comes up on our phone. Absolutely. And, you know, women with, uh, you know, dress differently and sure. whatnot. And, you know, as I scroll through, mm -hmm. I see it, but I don't like it. That's my point. Yeah, because I'm not, that's not what I'm looking for in particular. I'm not looking to see, I'm, I mean, you know, I can... But see, here's the thing of having a strong, healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't looking for that. I'm not trying to, I ain't trying to get with nobody. So, you know, if stuff come up, I just scroll on by it, you know? But, but I, I think it's unhealthy if a person, man or female, yes. starts looking at this person and then starts developing a desire when you like it there could be the possibility that you're developing an appetite for that individual that's that's right. wrong that's dangerous okay that's yeah. my point exactly yeah. that's very unhealthy and then you got to watch that because you know sometimes you know this thing this this is really tricky here 
Yeah. Because, you know, I, I was talking to Kiera and, uh, and, you know, even when people go on live, sometimes if I see somebody on their live, I'll stop to hear what they're saying. I didn't know that my name pops up on their mm -hmm. screen. So yeah. I stopped doing that uh, other than, you know, because I don't want anybody to misconstrue. Right. Uh, and, my intent. Yes, and then on the other end of that is that the person that you're liking, you know, may have another agenda. Sure. They might not feel, they might not see the innocence. Yes. It, even if you do like it. Yeah. But I, it'll be mm. best to be protect yourself. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't like, like it. it. Don't because like it. Because they'll think, oh, I got their attention. <laughs> right. Oh, they might be yeah. attracted to yeah. me. Or yeah. so. And some women to do that, and some men to do that. Yeah, don't do that. So don't you, don't do that. Don't don't like that <laughs> stuff. You gotta you gotta mate. Like your mate. Yeah. Like your mate, and stay away from that stuff. So yes. so you don't have issues. Okay. That's a part of protecting your marriage, and protecting your relationship, because. The devil comes in to kill, steal, and destroy, and the devices. He comes in like. Are oh, you going to add to the, the scripture? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Be careful yeah. of the yes. devices. We're yeah. not ignorant of these devices. And, right, Satan's and do, devices. Don't don't be mm -hmm. ignorant of yes. it, because yeah. sometimes we can be like, oh, it's okay to yeah. like. No, yeah. it's not don't okay. Be so, don't be so naive and silly. Exactly. Is that right? Yes. Yes, because some people are naive and then some people are silly. Yes. And if you're in a relationship, you know, don't do, don't do to your mate mm -hmm. what you wouldn't want them to do to you. How is That's that? That's good. That's that sums good. that up, don't it? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Hey, listen, if you enjoyed this session, I want you to sow a seed. This is our Wednesday night Bible study. Sow a seed. We went a little longer than usual, but sow a seed. You can sow a seed at, uh, uh, I would hope that you will sow a $10 seed. You can send that seed to Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church, 19190 Schaefer Highway. That's Bishop J. Drew Shear, Detroit, Michigan, 48235. You can always give at PayPal at GEIKojic.org. Or you can give at Givelify. Please search for Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church. Please look for our church logo. Or you can give at Cash App. That's dollar sign GEI Kojic One. Or you can always give securely in our GEI app. Or you can text to give at 28950. Put in the space GEI offer or GEI tithes space and then the dollar amount. Please press send. God bless you. Sister Sheard, um, we're going to do another uh, part to this uh, on Friday night. And uh, I think uh, maybe we'll stay in these clothes to celebrate uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Okay. Let's, uh, right. I, I mean, we're not going to stay in these clothes till Friday, <laughs> but we'll have to eat back up. I didn't sound, that didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> uh, we got some more clothes, but we're going to stay in, in our clothes red uh, for Friday. We're going to put these back on for Friday. And uh, thank you for joining us and meet us Friday when we'll answer some more of these questions that have been submitted to us. Sister Sheer, uh, give a prayer. Okay, yes, sir. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time that we have come together, Lord, as one. God, I pray for marriages, all those of who are in marriage. God, I pray that you will bring peace, Lord, peace and unity and love, God. Oh, you were the first one that showed us how to love. Uh, and we want to be of examples to you, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you Friday.